So I've had members of the Blackwatch Regiment reach out to me who are training these young men in the west of Ukraine and in Antalya in Turkey. They are primarily officer ranks down to sergeant. They are then transferred from their place of training in Antalya or the west of Ukraine to France. They sign the Official Secrets Act and they're then shipped over in with the immigrants uh, and in with the refugee, the odd refugees, the scattering of refugees, but primarily the foot soldiers. They're all forced to sign the Official Secrets Act before they come. Now, when these guys land on the shore, they stick out like a sore thumb because one, they've got military haircuts for a start um, and they've got a certain posture and the way they carry themselves because they're officers. Um, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. They're then deploying these guys in key positions um, for up to two year contracts they're offering for these hoteliers. Two year contracts, you know, and hundreds of thousands of them are coming in. There's four or five grand a week. Four or five thousand a week coming in, these young lads. Yeah, they are UN soldiers and they will be deployed. They will be deployed when they feel they've got the numbers and they can justify another lockdown, be that under the guise of climate change bullshit or, or saying there's another variance as these people that have been jabbed. When, when I went to the meeting with Sir Graham last September, they said anyone that's had an active ingredient will have between two and five years to live. There is no cure. Mike Yeadon from Pfizer said that. He said, there's no cure for them. They can have pine needle tea, whatever they want. It won't work. They're doomed. That's why it has to be intravenously introduced. Now, Jeez. as these people begin dying in incredible numbers, there's your new variant. There's your need for a lockdown. And then these guys can start manning roadblocks everywhere, policing, and they'll go door to door, picking on the ones that are the most vocal. So I suspect what will happen then is you'll see these new super prisons be filled and there'll be outbreaks of COVID amongst the unvaccinated in these prisons. Who will even blink? Who will even blink when you've got a country, half of whom are dying and sick and they're told there's a new variant and they're herding, taking away the danger, the unvaccinated, and there's outbreaks of of COVID in these quarantine centers for the unvaccinated. Nobody's even gonna think. And that that is the plan. But what about our own soldiers? They're posted abroad. They won't be here. They won't be here. The Black Watch know exactly what's happening. They're very frightened, I can tell you, but soldiers follow orders. And they're not posted in the UK. They're in the west of Ukraine. And they're um, fighting Russia. And they're in Antalya and Turkey. They're not gonna be here. They may well know what's going on. They're soldiers. They'll do as they're told to. They're not going to be here. They're not going to be in the UK. It's going to be these foreign young lads. And um, the reason for that is the government know full well that they can't trust their own people because it's their women and kids they're targeting. And the other thing, it, it, the other reason that it's being done for is because it was felt that British soldiers wouldn't be happy kicking in British doors. Why would they? Why would you want to kick in your own citizens, innocent people's doors and drag them off? But these young lads, these foreign young lads from Albania, from um, Iraq and Afghanistan, they're going to be only too happy to do that. And they'll do as they're told to do. That's the reality, you know. So, so that's what's happened. I've spoke to soldiers who have told me. I've spoke to um, Anna de Bissere. She's a, a former army major. She's got many contacts still in the army and they're all telling her the same thing. But if she's saying anything, oh, you're a racist. You're a far right, right wing extreme. Why would you not want to give these poor souls sanctuary? Come on, you know? These are young men of adult fighting age with fully charged smartphones being trained in Antalya by our own forces, by Black Watch. You know, what can't people see? Uh, and I would suggest these MPs are, have got a real moral dilemma now because do they start rallying round and think about saving their own people or do they take advantage of the promised seat on the ark for them? But then the MPs will get dumped in it anyway. Oh, of course they know? will. But um, it's a little bit like we've got the, the eels in the barrel scenario, haven't you, where they're all wriggling about, open it won't be me, it won't be me, it won't be me, it will be you. Yeah, yeah, of course it will. Well, um, when the last of us is let off, they'll turn their gaze on these MPs because they'll have fulfilled their purpose.
to be seen to be practicing democracy. Useful idiots. Yeah, useful idiots. And they will go. And there'll be no one to fight for them because the likes of you, me and you will be gone. Will be gone. That's the reality. You know, so <sighs> will people wake up? I really don't know. But that's what I've been trying to do is trying to gently wake them up to the reality of what's going on. And I never realised, you know, I've had a lot of people reach out to me. Um, and it's very, very depressing and very upsetting, you know, especially when you feel like you're walking around on your own because people just can't see it. They can't believe that anyone would be that horrible. And I cast my mind back when you can't think historically and they tell us that they put these poor Jews went into the showers, didn't they, to be deloused prior to um, being resettled. And I don't doubt, I kind of thought, I wonder how many of those Jews walked into that shower knowing they were going to be killed but not quite believing anyone could be wicked enough to do it. Yeah. And still...